everybody, it is Matthew. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today is going to be vlog number one at the Madison Regatta in Madison, Indiana. As you guys know, I am a huge H1 Unlimited fan, and last week we went to Gunnersville for the very first time, but something that we have been doing forever is going to Madison, Indiana, which is the next race in the H1 Unlimited season. It is this week, and throughout the week, we camp out in Madison, Indiana, because the town puts on a ton of stuff, along with the boat racing and also the town is very cool ton of stuff to do there they put on they have a concert they have fireworks shows uh, a parade and all that to go along with the boat racing and for the longest time we go to Madison Indiana camp out along the riverfront and normally we do about a full week as you guys know last year we were there for six days today or this year uh, I was busy the last two days so everybody's already up there I'm meeting them up there today is Thursday so I'm only gonna be there for four days Days, but it's still gonna be so much fun and the H1 Unlimited uh, Governor's Cup along with all the fun stuff going on around the town of Madison Indiana it's gonna be so much fun so Madison Regatta vlog number one uh, I'm about to make the four-hour drive up there and make sure you all leave a like and subscribe in as I said this year uh, since we're only gonna be there four days this video is gonna be it from the Thursday and Friday combined of the Madison Regatta vlog number two will be the Saturday of the Madison Regatta and vlog number three will be from the Sunday of Madison Regatta whose shoe do you have <laughs> okay it is time to go And just like that, everybody, we've made it down to the riverfront with our campsite. Also, apparently, Dave Vilwalk's boat is apparently literally right down there. Oh, yeah, it is. It's literally right there. We'll go by there right now. We're going to walk down here. So, apparently, the pool is completely shut down. And basically, oh my gosh, it's like, Going it's not even a pool anymore. <sighs> Look at that. Why? Why couldn't they have done this during winter? Well, at least the basketball hoops are still up. That, that's what we should get. We should get like all the H1. Me versus Jimmy Shane 1v1. So we're actually about to go walk across the bridge. Today there's no racing going on, it's just kind of a chill day, and also the pool's closed as you know, so we're not doing that now. Also, when we were on our way back this way, we actually talked to Dave Vilwalk for a while. We were talking about last week's race and then the race coming up this week. And now we're going to the bridge. <sighs> Look at this, we're down here at the river. The river's actually really low this year. We're probably gonna be somewhere around here watching the race when they have it. Normally right here is where the river's up to and it's all the way down there. This is what happens when it's 100 degrees for like four weeks and we get literally not one bit of rain. Wow, look at this view. There's our campsite's all the way down there. They literally turn all the way down. Hang on, I don't know if I can zoom in, but it's all the way like down by those those last boats. That's right by our campsite. And they go all the way here, all the way, and then turn right over here, right past the bridge. I'll tell you this, I wish I could be up here to film when they're racing. This would be the greatest angle of a boat race in history if I was able to film from up here but they can you please be quiet I'm trying to vlog the one thing that's really cool about this town is it is like an old-time town that's basically just built in between like a valley you can climb up all those mountains you can't tell on camera what I was about to say for the video is that right there actually divides Indiana and Kentucky so we literally just walked to a different state but literally Jimmy Shane's boat just literally pulled in on that street right there. I'm not even kidding. I can try to zoom in all the way. His boat has literally just got here. Actually, probably both the boats for that team. 
So we've made it over to the other side of the bridge. Look at this just old town. I think there's only like 300, 400 people here in this town. The one reason I like this a lot more than going down, even though going down to Gunnersville was cool because it was the first time, this is more than just the boat race. You get to see the boats up close. You get to explore the town. This is almost a full week event, just camping out. It's, it's a lot more than just the boat race to have fun. And also the home street, Jimmy Shane's boat is literally parked over here. We're gonna go up to it as long as it's not barricaded by security or something. Look at this, there's actually another boat here too. The other Miss Madison boat. Look at that, that's cool. Down there we found an old bowling ball. I don't even want to know what that is inside. Look at this. Looks like concrete in there. It's not, but it's like... So it is a few hours later. I actually took a nap because I was very tired. It is now later in the day. It's actually like evening hours, basically. Apparently there's a ton of boats here. They're actually setting up the boats in the pits right now. We're actually going to walk down there right now. We may do stuff tonight, and as I said, this video is gonna be today and tomorrow. Oh, it looks like almost all the GPs are set up. Four of the six H1 boats are here. And there's food stands up now, a few. So here we go, Heritage Trails. So this goes all the way up into the mountains up there. Everyone, I think we've made it to the top. And I think that is a prison. Look at this, we are almost as high as the smokestacks. Wow. You can't even tell on camera how far down that is. We're probably like, at least probably like 500 feet up. Okay, go, go. Let's see, we got it, let's go. Oh, those tires are as tall as me, my god. So everybody, it is the next morning. Uh, we were actually just playing basketball. We've been up for about an hour. We had breakfast that was made at the campsite. And now there's a hydroplane on the water. So the first boat on the water is Dave Vilwalk. So you see, there he goes under the bridge. Today is when a lot more of the stuff is getting started. I don't think there's any H1 racing today, but there's qualifying testing going on right now. The smaller boats, the GPs, the Pro Lights, I think they have a few races today. And then also tonight is the Madison Regatta Parade. Oh, and there's Jimmy. We were literally walking down back to the campsite and Jimmy's now out. I'm actually gonna try to go down to the beach. I don't know how it's gonna work on Crocs. They're watching from the campsite. This is the first time we're really able to be down here at the beach because normally the water's all the way up to here, but with the water being so low, look how close the boats are. You can just hear him and then he's gonna appear behind the boats. So everybody, we just got down to the riverfront and Dave Vilwalk actually just went and apparently has tore up his boat really bad. I'm waiting for them to lift up the boat to see if we can see what the damage is, but I really hope he is not done for the weekend because we didn't even get to really see Jimmy Shane versus Dave Vilwalk last week. So uh, there's Jay Michael's boat, but we did just get news. Dave Vilwalk and his boat are out for the rest of the weekend. So the first race of the day is gonna be Grand Prix Heat 1A. We have that, then Pro Light Heat 1A, then H1 qualifying. Look at this, hang on, wait. One broken down there, as you saw. Another one broken down there. 
Another one broken down there. There's one boat left. He's just got to finish the race. He doesn't even... What? Everybody, we're about to start Pro Light Heat 1B. And then after this is actually H1 qualifying, which does matter. Hey, are they? these are the two that tied in the la in Gunnersville in the final. So I think the first boat is actually out for qualifying. They're about to have their first lap. Yeah, here they come. It's going to be the 11. Look at this shot, though. You can see, it looks like the 91's about to go right now. Then after that, you'll have the 9 and then the 1 with Jimmy Shane. This is, I can see everything, though, from here. Right now, J. Michael, the last boat that just went, he got a 151, and then the boat before that, the green one, they got a 145. And as I said, the 91 is out here now. Here comes the nine, they're next up. There's the U9 and Corey Peabody, last week's winner of the Gold Cup. And here comes Jimmy. So each boat went out to qualify once. They can go out again. Uh, I don't know the exact speed Jimmy got, but I know he was in first. I think they said like 157 was the lap average. And by the way, the lap average is like the whole lap combined. At probably near the end of the straightaways, they're probably going like 200 miles per hour at least. But Jimmy was first, Corey was second. Uh, apparently J. Michael Kelly in the eight got disqualified. So he's definitely gonna have to go out again. What was that? So that that explosion was the bowling ball blowing up. I, I gotta see this. You guys blew up the bowling ball? Yeah, you missed it. I heard it from down there. I was filming. I was like, the tradition we have always had is before the parade on Friday is go to Red Pepperoni. It's a pizza place here right in downtown Madison on Main Street. And that's what we're doing right now. We're going up there. Also, the sun is beaming down on me. It's 110 out. So we've made it to Red Pepperoni. So we got the pizzas. They look very, very good. There's the official qualifying. Okay, so here comes all the cop cars. I think Corey, I think Corey Peabody is currently passing out candy to everybody. I don't know where he went. Look, they got the gold cup with them. Look what we got. A school bus demolition derby. That actually sounds a lot of fun to watch. Oh my, look at that. 
These people have a piece of candy on their tire. The final and honestly the best part of the whole entire parade, the trash trucks. Okay, so right there is actually, I think, Dave's boat because since they're out of the competition, they're leaving, even though there's still two more days left of the event, they're leaving since they withdrew due to the damage. So we're going down there to see it before they leave. Also sounds like some of the concerts are already beginning. Apparently 38 Special is here, which is actually a huge time group, especially for just this. And they're performing tonight. We may go to that. Literally cracked open. The propeller came off and it rips a hole kind of right here in the boat. Oh yeah, you can see it right there. Yeah, there they're putting the home street boat back in to where it was. Look, there's the there's the gold cup. What have you guys done? Hey, the waves though are keeping it over here. You guys can probably get it. Yeah, since I didn't get since I didn't get the bowling ball caught uh, exploding, we're blowing up a popped mini basketball. All of them are hiding. Uh oh. Oh my. My gosh. <laughs> no idea where that meant. <laughs> yeah, that thing's gone. Hey, you can still see a little bit. No, yeah, we gotta do it again. Then. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we are heading to the concert. Uh, 38 special, I think, starts at 10 or 11. 10. 10? Okay, then we need to hurry because it's almost 10 right now. So everybody, it is now like 12.30. We've been down there for a while. The concert's still going on. I'm heading back to the campsite though since we have to be up early. And tomorrow, gee, I almost just tripped over that. Oh my gosh. What I was trying to say is tomorrow we got a ton of stuff. This video over the last two days has been amazing. And actually, I'm gonna end the video right here as I'm walking back to the campsite. It's been uh, an amazing first two days here at the Madison Regatta and thank you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video and make sure you guys leave a like hit the subscribe button and also buy the merchandise if you haven't also if we've hit 7,000 subscribers by this video being out I don't know if we will have yet we'll be very close if we have though thank you all but that's gonna be all Madison Regatta vlog number two will be out uh, in a few days so See you then. See ya. Say that it feels right.